Welcome to IBC 2024. Discover game-changing innovations, explore new business models, and network with over 170 countries right here in Amsterdam. Sarah from In Broadcast here on the Zero Density stand with Ralph. And once again, your stand looks fantastic, but how are things going? How's the show going? It has been an extremely busy first day. Uh, way beyond our expectations, so uh, very good. Yeah. So just tell us about Zero Density and your position within the industry at the minute. Well, we, we are a market leader in virtual production, and I think this IBC we are showing that we are uh, broadening our, broadening our uh, ecosystem. Uh, we are adding uh, real-time motion graphics to our ecosystem, which is, I think, very interesting because now we can offer um, Unreal-based graphics, both in real-time motion graphics and virtual production, which decreases the cost for our clients uh, and increases the quality of the, of the graphics. You've really been listening to your clients and what they want and when they come here, what will they be able to experience? Well, we will do our green screen demo, which is famous. Like since 2016, everybody is, you know, they are still amazed if they see what's possible in real time. Uh, we do uh, an XR demo here in the LED stage. Um, we demo, of course, the new real-time motion graphics solution, Lino, um, which is feeding the LED wall, but also the lower thirds. Um, we are showing our new AI subsystem in reality. Um, and what that means is that we can open AI models inside virtual production. Um, so you can create depth masks, live depth mask out of flat video and place um, AR objects in between flat video elements, which is like really amazing if you look at it, it's like you don't know what you see. Um, so that's what we are showcasing here today. And real-time motion graphics and AI and all of these trends, what's next, do you think? I think AI will be obviously will be a very big thing, um, but everybody is focused on the, the generative AI, but we are focusing on AI that will help uh, creating really efficient workflows, uh, combine uh, generative AI with uh, those workflows so that you can adjust your projects on the fly. Um, uh, AI that will help you to create uh, higher resolutions, higher quality, so that's what we are focusing on that will be next. But it, next is re going to be really fast. So next used to be like four or five years, but I think next is now 12 months and it will be there. Gosh, right. And your clients then, um, as we said, you're listening to them, what it is that they need. What are they telling you now that they need? And, and maybe you could give some actual examples of the uses and, and what you're able to do. Well, our clients want integrated solutions. So virtual production is traditionally uh, an area where people you know, do uh, best of breed, mix and match, and they create like the solution themselves. But the next generation clients wants to have a solution that exists of building blocks and is an integrated ecosystem. And that's what we are offering. That's what they want. Um, but they also want talent to operate all that. You know, the, the, the broadcast industry uh, has a lot of uh, talented people, uh, but in order to run virtual production, normally you would have to you know, get a lot of new talent in. And our new uh, product line uh, also has a new interface uh, where you don't need any Unreal skills to create Unreal uh, assets. And I think that is really exciting because that opens up virtual production for people that are in more traditional sides of the broadcast industry at the moment. So I think that is really, really exciting. And interesting too then, in terms of jobs and recruitment, the machines won't be replacing the people. No, no, <laughs> no, no. Some parts of the, of the job can be replaced, but I think that is not like the part of the job that makes the job interesting. So I think people will be supported with new technology to only focus on the stuff that they really, really like to do. Ralph, it's been great talking to you and good luck with the rest of the show. Thank you very much.